Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about cold hardy crops that you can grow all winter long inside a greenhouse, heated or unheated. Now before we get started today, please hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. It really helps us out a lot when we're sharing all of our content. All right, let's get right into this. Your coldest hardy crops are going to be your root crops or your full on perennial plant. Your carrots, beets, radishes, turnips, onions, garlic, leeks, all of those types of crops will do very, very well in a cold environment and they will grow continuously even under the snow. Moving on to leafier greens, we have lettuce and kale and Swiss chard, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kohlrabi, fava beans, spinach, peas, arugulas, cabbages, tatsoys, pak choys, bok choy, and all those native pesky weeds that people consider weeds, but we consider them food. You have simple ones like purslane, plantain, and lamb's quarter that will all grow inside a greenhouse, and they're very high in nutrition, but they're just considered a weed. All of the plants I listed are fairly easy to grow, require very little watering and very little light to actually produce and grow. Now diversifying your crops in the winter time is going to ensure you some type of success. You may have some failure, but you're also going to have some success. So we basically like to spread the risk out by planting as many crops as we possibly can that are cold hardy, low light, and low water. So we really don't have a whole lot of maintenance on them when they're covered all winter long. We just come out and harvest basically. This is how we're creating our own food chain supply for ourselves because the market is absolutely crazy food prices have rocketed 33 percent in our local places here already and we're in the midwest so it's probably reached everywhere else by now we're creating our own food chain supply that we can sustain all winter long and continually harvest and resow simply by having this greenhouse and just having it a passive solar greenhouse without any active heating we are still able to grow all of those same crops, but it takes a lot longer. We are actively heating this little greenhouse in the winter time with compost and solar power. Because when you have some type of heat source, which our heat is in the floor and we heat our airspace in here, so we've got the best of both worlds. And when it gets warm out in the winter, the sun shines right through. We don't have a shade cloth. And our greenhouse achieves some very good passive temperatures and carries those into the night. With our active heating system, continuing to pick up the slack all night long and keeping our plants alive and growing. We will almost double the time that we're going to harvest stuff in because of active heating. And if we didn't actively heat, we would not be able to get as much food out of this little greenhouse or our 52 foot greenhouse just simply because all of the food grows so much slower when it is not actively heated. It will only use the passive heat from the sun during the day and it gets very cold in a greenhouse at nighttime without any heat. You have a much slower turnover rate if you don't actively heat your greenhouse, but you can still have some type of produce that you can eat and it's healthy organic food. One thing we like to do is plant very very high intensity or high density in order to contain all of that heat and moisture and just plant everything as packed as we possibly can in order to retain everything during the winter to act as a buffer for those cold temperatures and the bright baking sun in the winter when we don't have any moisture coming in and we have to water now if you choose to actively heat your greenhouse all winter with electricity or not you will be able to grow some crops that you might not be able to grow without heat. Now I want to highlight our heating for free with compost. Please check out our video where we heated our greenhouse all last winter just by solar power and compost. I always encourage everyone to experiment in your area. Just see what you can grow. That's where planting a big diversity of plants comes into play. If you can get your hands on all of the cold hardy seeds, you're really gonna know what is going to benefit in your area and what's not going to work out for you. So you kinda know what crops that you can succeed with and the more touchy your crops. You're transitioning from a summer greenhouse like this in to a fall and winter greenhouse, you definitely want to plan ahead and you want to sprout all of those plants and kind of give everything a good start at life so they can go into the ground and have some growth 
before it gets very cold on them and you'll achieve much better growth off those plants because they're much more established. Don't forget to order your seeds in bulk if you can afford to do so because you will save yourself a ton of money in the long run. We buy our seeds by the pound or bigger if we can afford to do so also because they are guaranteed to get used and most of the time once we buy seeds one time we can save those seeds and we never have to buy them again. So our greenhouse is in the transition from summer to fall and winter here and we are planting out already. My four year old son had planted a ton of radishes and a ton of mixed lettuce in here. He stuck a basil. Um, he stuck a mum and some parsley, but hey, that's great. He's only four and he planted this whole bed out by himself. Now he planted this out two days ago and I can see this little radish seeds already got a tail coming out. I see a ton of sprouts through this entire bed. That is absolutely awesome. We're using the heat to get all this up and we'll be able to sow this out again before it gets real cold on us here. We've got all our fodder growing for our chickens. We are just kind of cleaning up house here. We're going to take all of our systems down. We got to clean up this entire bed and we are going to be replanting. So I just wanted to share what we've learned in our little greenhouse growing through the entire winter last winter. Even though we actively heated, we still could have grown, but not as much. So we had a good, good bountiful season in the winter time and we were able to eat all of our cold hardy crops so that's where we got our idea to put up a big 52 foot greenhouse and possibly heat it the same way if we have enough time to get it all built before it gets too cold on us so i hope everybody found this somewhat useful we're in the transition period like i said i'm going to be ripping this entire greenhouse up and replanting everything all of the aquaponics is going down to the basement and we're setting up our compost heating system